Hi guys and welcome to Finish It Friday episode 41. So here's where we left off on Wednesday. So we have our base card. Mine happens to be eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth. We have four pieces of designer series paper that is three inches by one. We have three pieces of either basic white or very vanilla. Mine happens to be basic white at two and three fourths by three fourths. We have a four by one that matches either this paper or this paper. We can do it either way. And then a neutral, a basic white, very vanilla or light cardstock, three and three fourths by three fourths. Okay, so what I'm gonna do on mine is I'm gonna line all of these up real quick. Now, I'm hoping that I don't get edges. When I practiced earlier, I didn't get edges, but we'll see, because, you know, that's just how it is with me. So, since this is the Magnificently Made DSP, I'm using the Gorgeously Made uh, stamp set. Let me go ahead and move that over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oops, don't know if you can see. I'm going to, is my camera caught up? All right. I'm going to ink up this stamp. Now I want to leave a little room over here for the words. So I'm going to go just like that. And I'll hold it for a second because I have a lot of different, even though they're all the same layer, I have a lot of different meeting points here. All right. So there, and see, there's a little bit of a, uh, not a good stamp there, but we'll make it do. Okay, let me put this over here off to the side so I don't touch anything with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want this in, so the colors I want in. Now a lot of this is going to be, is going to be covered up. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do it like this, I think. So I get a little bit of that orange in on this side and then that and that um then the magenta on the other side let me grab out my stamp and seal and i'm just going to go ahead and replace these right in the middle of these now if you wanted to go in if this bothered you you could go in with either a stamp and write marker or a blend and fill those in. But since this is this is like the theme of this DSP is torn paper, I don't mind it not having that distinct clear lines. I like having it a little bit more distressed. Oh, and let me go ahead and bring in Sorry, I'm shedding all over the place. And let me get my let my camera catch up. I had a lot of motion there. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and grab my memento. Memento. Get that little word right there. Now we'll go ahead and put the tape on the adhesive. I always call it tape. It's adhesive. Okay. Now you could line this all the way up if you want to. I am actually going to off center it a little bit. Again, since the paper is kind of artsy, I'm going to make the design be a little artsy. Now you don't really want to push these down too much until you know you got it where you want it. So you'll just lightly place it down. Oh no, I had adhesive over here. Took off some more of that. Look at that. All right. I don't remember having tape over there, but so I'm just going to again not push that down. Oh, I bet you that's glue from earlier. You'll see some of my examples. 
So again, not pushing it down, not quite yet, because I want to make sure that I like the way this is looking. Oh, I really hate the fact that I got glue on that, because that smeared that ink. Let's see, look at that. See, that was glue. Ugh. All right. Maybe that's a little bit better. Got some of that off there. All right. And then that leaves enough room for my greeting that's down here. So now that I know that that's okay, let me take a piece of something else. Okay. The saying, I'm going to use the, you're a great friend. I'm going to put just a little bit of this on either side. I'm going to do it very lightly. So again, here's that shaded spruce. I'm just going to use this same one here. I'm only using a little portion. I'm going to get some of that off. Go like that. see. Yep, I'm not going to do a second one just because. So let's go ahead and take off this thank you. Put on this you're a great friend. Moved it a little bit into a little crooked. Wouldn't be a Roxy card if it was straight. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, excuse me. Felt that coming on the whole video. Look at how beautiful that card is already. All right, so let's go ahead and put this here. And then just because we can, let's grab out the adhesive back sequence trio. I use these a lot. I like the green. I've been using shaded spruce a lot lately. So I like that green. And I also, of course, always like the translucents. Um, let me grab my take your pick tool. Let's figure out. I think I'm going to do every other here. I'll do every other here. I'm liking the ones that I feel like catch a lot of the sparkle. That didn't go great. All right, and I usually don't do evens, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put, let me see, I'll put one of these up here. All right. Now you could always stamp in there if you want to, like you could have this. And you could have that going off the edge to give you a little bit of a background. I'm just, I'm really trying to use, and I do okay with the adhesives. I don't do as great with the ribbon. I'm trying to use either an, an embellishment or a ribbon on every card, just so I use up my stock. Because Lord knows I have enough. All right, so let's go ahead. Here's the one we just created. I'll bring it up a little bit higher so you can see it. Let me get away from that logo. There we go. That way you can see it. So there's that one. Here's the others that I created. Let me put them over here. Here's this one. Now all of these that I created 
as examples, use the timeless arrangements. So all these you're seeing here, we'll use that stamp set. So there's that. So I took those strips then and I went landscape and I, I flushed them left, right against this. Here's this one where I actually did a two and two and had them completely flush with this being the banner across the top or in the middle. And then here's this one where I did two at the bottom, two at the top, kind of a line along the lines of this one, but then I put my saying across the bottom. Oops, sorry. So just a bunch of different looks you can do with those strips. It doesn't have to all be in a row like this one. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I will not be seeing you this weekend. If I have time tonight, Friday night, I may do a quick recording and schedule it for Saturday, showing you a standalone stamp set I have. But for the most part, I'm going to be gone this weekend. So if not, I'll see you next Wednesday for Watch It Wednesday, episode 42. Thanks for joining in and have a great day.